We're going to move on to item 3.2, American Muslim Appreciation and Awareness Month Proclamation. Mayor and council members, uh, Dublin takes great pride in supporting religious freedom and championing diversity and inclusion in our community. This proclamation acknowledges the rich history and contributions of Muslims and the lasting positive impact they've made in our community and in our country. And Mayor, we have a a couple members of the community here to support uh, the proclamation. We have Iman Tai Ahmed, president of the Dublin Muslim Cultural Society, a member of the Muslim Community Center of the East Bay. And we have Azam Jafri, president of Islamic Center of Zara. So I'll leave it to you to invite someone to the lectern. I appreciate that. Uh, can we have one of those representatives uh, come up, please? Good evening. It's good to see all of you. Um, I wanted to thank you all for the honor of being here with you again. Um, I've had the privilege of accepting a few of these proclamations. And um, I'm proud to be a member of the Muslim Community Center of the East Bay. It's uh, not just a place of worship, but a community center that engages in providing services ranging from uh, you know, partnering with the Alameda County uh, Food Bank and as a food pantry, providing mental health support groups, disability services, and much more. And uh, as uh, service and civic service is one of the central tenets of our faith, they're always encouraging us to participate and become civically engaged. It was through this encouragement that I became involved here in Dublin, which about a decade ago now. And uh, when I first started participating, there was just a handful of us and we all knew each other um, that were Muslim. Now I'm very proud to say that we are, there's uh, numerous numbers of us that are participate here in Dublin and are civically engaged and are actively in service of here in Dublin. Um, one of the things that we truly appreciate about living in Dublin is that uh, we've always had a great partnership with the city. This proclamation this year is particularly meaningful because 24, 24 has been a difficult year for Muslim Americans. We faced an increase of um, 250% in incidents of hate crimes and um, uh, discrimination against Muslims. And Living in a city like Dublin, where we have so much support, we feel seen and included and a sense of safety to participate fully as citizens in uh, the city of Dublin. So we really appreciate that. And we're always looking for opportunities to further engage with the city. Uh, with their with your support um, and creating this haven of inclusion and unity, we have thrived. And this year we were able to create um, the the. Muslim Cultural Society of Dublin, and um, we're really excited about being able to partner further with you. Some of our initial initiatives are trying to get, um, you know, we have a great deal of small business owners here in Dublin that um, are part of our community. We want to help them be more engaged with this um, Chamber of Commerce and with the city's activities to promote and encourage small businesses here in Dublin. We also have our youth committee that is just getting off the ground, but they're excited to have a street iftar this coming Ramadan uh, that's open to the community at large, as well as running a year-long service um, community service project where uh, we raise money and food to support uh, food insecure individuals in the Dublin Unified School District. So we're really looking forward to some of these projects and I'm really always excited to see you guys, but I'm really looking forward to the few next few years where you'll see other faces. Um, we'll have our youth come out and our my fellow board members, one of whom is here tonight, Minara Abdurrahman. And um, to have all of them join us and to, uh, so you can hear more about what we're doing and all the great activities. And we invite all of you to come out and join us. Thank you. Very much appreciated. Um, you know, it's it's always been our honor to to provide you with this recognition. And it's my honor tonight to read the pro- proclamation to all of you. Uh, whereas freedom of religion holds distinction as a cherished right and a fundamental value upon which the law and ethics of the United States are based on. And whereas the city of Dublin takes great pride in supporting individual religious freedoms and is strengthened by contributions of its diverse population, including those Americans who practice Islam. And whereas approximately 1 million Muslim Americans currently reside in communities throughout California, the highest number in the United States. And 
whereas the citizens of Dublin benefit from Muslim religious, charitable, educational, and empowerment organizations that operate within the East Bay. And members of the Dublin Muslim community have been strong advocates for equity and inclusion at the municipal and state levels of education and social programs that support all Dubliners. And whereas it is appropriate to promote awareness of the many contributions of American Muslims in Dublin and across the nation and to extend to them the respect every American deserves. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the, city of Dublin, the, the Dublin City Council acknowledges the rich history and contributions of Muslims and the lasting positive impact they've made and does hereby proclaim August 2024 as America Muslim Appreciation and Awareness Month in the city of Dublin. Sign the city council. Thank you very much. Thank you.